Good morning, and here we are at RCC. And Iris, what is happening here today? <laughs> well, we've got the um, RCC 2024 job fair going on. We've got uh, about 60 some employers here, and also some services like NC Works, vocational rehabilitation, um, other services here to help people find jobs or get the services they need to get a job, as well as lots of employers looking for employees. Oh my gosh, and what a beautiful site, you know, just connecting the students to the services, to the jobs, to the possible opportunities that's around them. What an enthusiastic and uplifting place to be today, Iris. How long does it take you to plan one of these? Because, oh my goodness. We start planning in December oh, wow. to have the job fair in mid-April. Um, we have a committee that gets together and different people have different assignments and stuff. Um, and and as, it's, as the job fair has grown, so is the committee, which we really appreciate all the help that the other departments at RCC give us. Um, and I wanted to mention too, you mentioned students. Yes. Um, we encourage our students who are not quite decided on what kind of career they want to look at the list of employers and, and the type of jobs they have, which we also had on our website, and look at those and think about where they might want to go and connect with those people, if nothing else, to get contact information to talk to them more later, because a lot of the employers are focused on hiring right now, right. but you can really network and create connections. Of course, upcoming graduates or recent graduates, it's a perfect place to come look for a job. And then we also are open to the public in general, and we let everybody that we've offered career development services to to come and be a part and come look at, at the type of job offerings that are here. Yeah. So what is your favorite part about the job fair? I think it's the, the fact that we have such a variety of employers that come and it's always great because, you know, we work together. RCC is a big part of um, developing the workforce. And so what that means is um, as, a, as a county, you know, we want businesses to come here, but the businesses need job-ready employees. Um, and so RCC works to train people to be in the jobs that the employers are hiring for. And the great thing about this job fair is it pulls together future employees, current trained people, and the employers and it also lets the employers see a little bit more of the school and it's just all about the networking and, and a great way to, to meet everybody that makes up our whole community and if we want our community to thrive we want the people to come and look for their jobs here and we want people to come to school here so i can go on and on about I it all day i can feel the enthusiasm <laughs> and i think you've described the job there beautifully this is another reason that RCC is the place to be. Welcome to the RCC Job Fair. So what is your name and what do you do here? Uh, my name is Ian Dunlap, and I uh, I work for Terminex. I have been the uh, I'm the Eden Branch Manager. Okay. Um, I began my career at Terminex in 2018 as a bait WDO, went on to become a pest control professional, and then in 2024 I was moved to branch manager again at the Eden location. Okay, so you're here for Terminex. Any like shout outs or any jobs you're hiring for right now? So uh, our Stokesdale branch is currently hiring right now. Um, the Greensboro locations, commercial is hiring. We also are hiring at the call center. Okay. Uh, which is also in Greensboro. Okay, awesome. So what's the favorite part of your job? Uh, just solving customers' problems, to be honest with you. The problem solving is one of the best things that I take pride in. And even my PMPs that I work with now also have very similar interests in, as far as taking care of the uh, customers' issues. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Welcome to the RCC Job Fair. Tell me your name and tell me why you're here. 
Sure, my name is Ian Bogus. I'm a uh, Reedsville City Police Officer. I'm here uh, recruiting for our city. Uh, we're hiring for a couple positions, including law enforcement, okay. uh, sworn law enforcement positions. Um, and uh, I actually am a graduate of RCC with my associate's degree, and I attended the b -Led Academy uh, here as well okay. uh, about gosh, five or six years ago now. Okay, so how long have you been where you are? Sure, so I started with Reedsville City in uh, 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I actually moved to Rockingham County uh, in about 2017, and that's when I started attending RCC. Okay, awesome. So, what is your favorite part of doing what you do? Oh God, my favorite part. Um, honestly, it's seeing all these different people in different walks of life, getting to make contact with them. We're such a small community. We're only about 15,000 people, but I get to see people's names and faces and see them on a regular basis and so they really get to know me for who I am and when they see me out and about in the community and I've even seen a few of our residents in here um, I can really form a relationship with them in a way that uh, you really can't in a larger city like in uh, like say Greensboro which is close by um, and so I get to be a person in the community that can be sought after when um, when something arises and, and, and questions happen or problems happen uh, I can be a, a familiar face Wow, thank you, and thank you for your service. Thank you. So we have one last pop question. We've been asking for fun to everybody. Sure. What is your Roman Empire? What is my Roman yes. Empire? Yes, what is something you think of often? Oh so. gosh, you asked the, the perfect person for this. So, um, who, how about train tracks? Okay. Have you heard this? Train tracks. Have you heard this? Train tracks. Okay. So they are a certain distance apart for a very specific reason, and they're like that the world around. And it's because that is the exact distance the Roman pathways used. When they paved their Roman roads, they made gouges in them that sat down so that their wheels would work on their roads, but an evading armies would not. And because of that, Roman, uh, because of that, our railroads are set to a very similar standard. Well, there you have it, your new Roman Empire. <laughs> My favorite answer so far. Thank you so much. Oh, not a problem. Welcome to the RCC Job Fair. What's your name and why are you here today? My name is Lisa Davis and I am the training manager at Nestle Purina. And I am here to hopefully meet um, some potential candidates. So we have a few more jobs to fill. We are a new uh, company here in the North Carolina. We're, we're actually in Eden in Rockingham County. So we are new to the area and we are looking to get, our, get fully staffed. Okay, awesome. So how long have you been at Purina now? I know it's recently moved to Eden. I, um, I have been a Nestle Purina employee for 27 years. I started in St. Louis, Missouri, which is where I'm from. Okay. I moved to North Carolina three years ago to be the training manager at uh, Eden, and I've had a great career here. Awesome, so what is your favorite thing about Purina? I think um, my favorite thing is the atmosphere or the culture. So uh, what, what we strive for at Purina is that family atmosphere. We want everybody to feel welcome. We want them to know that we are going to uh, pour into them as long as they pour into the company. So the company has supported me in all kinds of ways from providing mentorship, providing training, uh, teaching me how to be a leader, um, just all kinds of different things and, and they do that for every employee so I love the fact that everybody has an equal shot and that if you want to you can build a great career here at, at Nestle Purina. Well thank you so much for what you do, how long have you been at your company? So I have a pop question for you. All right. Okay so what is your Roman Empire? Uh, my Roman Empire is probably travel okay. to exotic international locations. Okay. What's your favorite location you've ever been to? Greece. I've been wanting to go. Greece, I highly recommend it. Okay. It's a, it's an expensive trip. Right. So you got to make this one worth it, right? You got to save up your money, save up your time, but make it worth it. It is absolutely glorious and I will be going back. Okay. <laughs> it was wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for being here. <laughs> All right.